Okay, yeah, I'm going to try the, uh, the cheap approach again and see if this, uh, yeah, it's going to be a work in progress as usual. And here we go. My voice is going to change over. We're going to, um, the thing I think that is potentially sucks is when I switch over to the, uh, the paint, uh, the different paint brushes and whatnot, even a different cameras, cameras, I was noticing there was like this big flash or a glare. I guess it's the camcorder trying to figure out the, um, uh, the light balance and whatnot when uh, the uh, the giant TV screen is changing. Mind you, I did hopefully get rid of some of that glare from uh, one of the lights that I use uh, to look at my notes and stuff. So we'll see how it goes. I'm um, yeah, like I said, it's just a test. Well, it, I've done the moves. Uh, there's no choice. Uh, that's done. So what did I do? Well, I moved the uh, I made the moves for the the Russian Ninth Army. And I'll show you what I'm doing here live, and then I'll show you the strategy bits later on. Um, the situation, yeah, we'll go with the paintbrush thing, and then I'll, I can show you the before and after. Because this is the after. Oh, yeah, actually, what I should do is show you the before then. Uh, this, yeah, all right. So this is the before shot, because uh, what you just saw, actually, is the after bit. So here is, um, let's, let's zoom in a little. So this is what I'm essentially scared of. Okay, so we've got the 2nd Army up here in Warsaw. Uh, we did have the 10th Army here, but they got destroyed by uh, the Germans pouncing on them. You've got uh, the 8th Army up, up here with uh, uh, um, Hindenburg. Uh, you've got... Um, Core HQ1 down here, and now we've got the newly arrived uh, 9th Army with, oh shoot, uh, starts with an S, I think, oh shoot, I'll, I'll look them up later, darn it, anyways, um, we've got this big gaping hole as well, they broke through here, um, so we've got the 5th and the 9th Army up here in Lublin, um, the 5th Army have made their moves, they did a slight attack, um, extend, tried to, well they did, they extended their flank up here, it wasn't very effective though that combat down here. Um, so what I've tried to do is, the 9th Army has a lots, lots of troops, you'll see in a bit. Um, so they're going to actually have to do a, quite a bit of the heavy lifting, or uh, a lot of this here, and, and they're going to extend out along here. Uh, the 4th Army don't have a lot of troops, but they, uh, they have a heck of Salsa's 4th uh, Army. They have a heck of a lot of, well, relatively speaking, a heck of a lot of supply points. They've got four. Um, so they're going to start trying to move up a bit here and protect this spot. Um, it is a big gaping whatever. Um, okay, this is what I don't like. like. Look at this, man. So what I'm, okay, So what I want to do is something like this because I want to protect this rail line and whatnot and use obviously the terrain um, like this and I'm hoping and there's the second army up here and what I'm hoping and, we, and we're, we're good this way what I'm hoping is is that the Germans here we'll do a how about a gray dude or no, we better do something like blue or yeah let's go I'm hoping the Germans will try to stick their neck out a little bit here. And, I mean, I don't know how, there's just, this is the scary part. I've got no one to put here. So what I'm hoping is that uh, a combination of restrictive, restrictive terrain, if I harass them a little bit up here, and that they have a... Um, supply constraint in that it is going to take them a while to um, you know link up stuff and winter's coming they may I may be able to stall them a little bit here I'm scared to death though of this big giant gaping uh, uh, salient I think people call it um, so that's and look at this eh so this is why I love paintbrush and all these other things I can there we go so that's what I'm worried about. So what I've been trying to do, and it's going to take a long time because I have to move these troops down and deal with restrictive 
terrain and the in and outs of zones of control. It's a flipping nightmare. Um, so it's going to be slow going. That's why I'm making the core HQs. It's a combination of slow going and uh, winter times coming. So uh, since it's such slow going, oh, here's my other uh, thing I'm going to do, um, which is different than the official Dervelt Krieg. I'm going to restrict that um, one army HQ can make one core HQ per turn. That's it. So you can't make 50 per turn. No, just one. So if I've got five army HQs up there, they can make five core HQs. Uh, I know that perhaps is restrictive. I think I was doing three, uh, allowing you to do three. But I'm going to go one to one. Um, this is a long, I've got to look at it this way. I'm looking, uh, it's a long approach. This is a, yeah, this is a four year war. Well, at this point now, it's a four year war kind of thing. So, yeah, that's what, the way I'm going at it. So, there's the, like I said, that's what I'm worried about. It's weird to be doing, I've got the live table here, right, and I'm not even looking at it. Let's go to it. Uh, yeah, so that's, well, you're going to see the after now. So, and I'll show you what I did do. So, I don't know how I'm going to do it. So, the 4th Army are going to be next. Uh, what I'm, Kelche, I think is what it's called. So like I said, I'm going to try to use this restrictive terrain here. Uh, the 4th Army are now going to start to do from here up to uh, Radim, I think. And the 2nd Army, who have a ridiculous amount of strike points, yet again, it's going to take for freaking ever to get it down here. Um, I'm going to have to start bringing them down here. Like I said, this little, I'm hoping the Germans will stick their neck out a little bit. But... If, it, if everything goes pear shaped down here, we could fall back, and I'm sorry, everybody in Kelchu, you're going to have to, like, okay. If I was living here, I, I, my suitcase is packed. I can tell you that much. Um, but at least we can fall back, uh, you know, beyond the Nida. I love this little flipping river. Uh, we can fall back to here. And, yeah, in other words, don't panic, panic, but I would, you know, uh, Little beyond yellow alert. I don't know what, uh, but not red. But is it amber or is, I don't know what the color is. But it's getting flipping close to red. Um, so that's that. Um, now I'll show you the after of what I did. What I tried to do now. Uh, well, let's do the close ups. I think I did close ups for the before and after. So hold on. Yeah, I think I did side by side. So we'll do the before. There we go. And then I pop in the after. Boink. Boinkity boink. Okay. So what happened here is, here's the before. So what I did was I moved uh, this guy over to here. It's just a one strength point unit. The 30, hold on. I'll grab my book. Jeepers jumping. And who are you? That was the uh, Gursky Lead Guard Regiment. Uh, they were originally from the second brigade of the. Oh, shoot. I'm not going to remember. Uh, but second brigade is something. <laughs> That's not that I know for sure. <laughs> and they moved over to go uh, re, uh, to get to Lublin uh, to reach up to the headquarters so that way I can use them. I'm sorry, I'm doing it. Uh, it's a one strike point thing. So they're going to be my nucleus for divisional uh, reconstitution or whatever it's called and I'm, and then they just go uh, I bring them up to full strength and I break them down and off they go uh, that look man welcome to uh, I, I don't know what it what it what is it called Log logistics and uh, so on and so forth so that's what's happened then uh, these guys I know they've got a ton of strength points there was like nine here and five over here. So I started shifting them, oh sorry, over to, I got this right? Yep. So this away. Right? Yeah. See? Oh yeah, I had to keep him here because of this flipping cavalry over there that we're about to uh, nail. But these guys went over. Yeah, that's it. That's all, and that, that's all that's happened. Um, as far as I know, yeah. I, um, yeah, I just uh, split off some of this group into here, and this and this entire group uh, bopped on over uh, to there, as you can see. 
So that guy went over to here, and part part of these guys went over to there. I think uh, the eighty third and the eighty no, the eighty third reserve uh, no, the eighty first and the eighty third went to here, and uh, the eighty fourth reserve and the second guards uh, uh, infantry divisions went that way. That's right. Okay, so that's it. Let's go back to the crazy uh, full on and. I don't know. I think this may be a, a good way of doing things. Um, like I said, now you can still see me, you know, doing my funky stuff. Um, yeah, I'm just, uh, yeah, I'm still, yeah, I'm taking my time. I know it's, well, taking my time for love of God. This is, I'm getting up to a year doing this game, but uh, I'm s just milking the living dickens out of it. And, um, for the most part, I mean, obviously, I have my little overwhelming, oh my god, what am I doing, whatever moments, but um, this has just been an absolute joy beyond belief, and um, yeah, let's just soak it in. All right, that's it. I, I just got to say as well, uh, it's been such a flippin' joy. To re it feels like I've just been getting, um, yeah, putting an old sweater on or something, getting right back into, like, uh, in my little journal and doing the little... Uh, movements and all that fun stuff. It's been, uh, yeah. Well, well, see, I don't know if this camera camcorder thing even worked properly. Let me suck behind tech for all I know. Hold on. I gotta turn it off now. That's the thing. I don't have a remote thingamajig. Oh my gosh, on a side note, I saw, um, I should uh, put in some YouTube uh, links for it. Um, man, do uh, church people ever know how to use video stuff? Uh, they uh, know how to do all these uh, things with PVZ uh, cameras and everything. So I've been watching a ton of uh, um, church uh, stuff to get some, inf uh, you know, um, well, just the, just the, 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 the tactical whatever. Um, but man, do they ever know there's... Well, the ones I've been watching, I'm like, holy cow, are you guys ever into your technical stuff? And like... Okay, you got a small congregation, you don't have a lot of money, do it this way. I'm like, woof, thanks, man. Anyways, hope you're having a great time.